Hello G Nation, it's your host G, and we got a brand new preview on the not so new Goldberg, because I'm about a week late posting this. It is Goldberg, the street begins. He is a striker. If we have a look at the card, the coach ability is really good. It is moves that generate Juggernaut Gem will create one more Juggernaut Gem, and moves that generate Power Gem will create two more Power Gems. Uh, he has links with the Attitude Era and No Gear. Our first move set we're going to have a look at is the Triple Green. It is the Necklock Suplex. 8 MP green move, deal 145k damage and choose 8 gems to destroy. The From Power Slam, 8 MP green move, deal 154.7k damage and increase the strength of your power gems by 26,000. And the Cross Arm Breaker, 7 MP green move, submission generate 40 random submission gems and do 184,000 damage for 4 turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining sub gems turn into power gems of strength 23.6k. Now obviously this is as you see a 6 star bronze build. Uh, trainers we're going to be using for that is George Steele so that we start with more green obviously. Uh, I'm putting Austin here so that my submission do 50% more damage per turn. You could instead use uh, Trickster Bray and increase the amount of turns that your submission lasts. I don't really want to do that because I want as much of those 40 gems to remain on the board to be boosted. Uh, as increased value power gems and if my submission lasts that much longer well that's that that much more gems that he's going to be destroying uh, i'm putting still uh bruno so that my submission do 50 percent more damage and last one more turn and i'm putting riddle here just so that my some uh, my power gems are going to be doing thirteen thousand more damage it doesn't show here but it does increase it they're not going to be 23, they're going to be 36. As far as the belt, uh, I put in armor medals so that it's harder to kick out. And I put the all art metal uh, plate here so that whenever I do my submission, the green and purple damage is going to be increased by 100% for two turns. So let's do that. Now we're going to go versus 6-star Goldberg as well. I'm taking the opportunity to go versus a 6-star since we have a tour with 6-star on right now. So 6-star versus 6-star Goldberg versus Goldberg. So first thing we're going to do is the submission first because he would be ready next turn otherwise and also because it pretty much lays the groundwork for everything for us. And they're out. Now, as you see, 36,000 uh, power gems. Now we're going to increase them by 26,000. So now we have a whole lot of 62.7k power gems. Now we're going to pick 8 gems to destroy. Now, obviously, you want to go for green so you can get going next turn. Plus, in this case, it also prevents him from getting green, which is even better. Now, unfortunately, I got to get rid of some of those that are power gems, and I don't have enough. But if you remember, uh, green and purple is boosted, and I don't really need any other color here, so we're going to go for purple just for added damage. Silicon amount remained. That did 1.5 billion and it stayed my turn. I'm gonna use a submission again, although unfortunately there is not 40 free gems. That means that uh, my submission gems are not necessarily gonna go for the free gems, 
they're going they're going to go anywhere so they will overwrite a lot of my power gems upside is well i'm going to do damage and, and i'm going to take away his mp anyway keep in mind this is a very powerful submission to begin with now the submission alone is doing 368k per turn go now we're gonna grab some green plus we got a pin with this a million pin we should be able to get out of that or not well he did not get out of it but next turn I was gonna boost my power gems again could destroy some and also due to submission everything was ready pretty effective not the fastest obviously but he couldn't do anything and i was doing my stuff every turn all right so let's look at something else all right other spec we're gonna do on goldberg this one we're gonna be using the drip plate so it is the necklock suplex, 8 MP green move, deal 145.2k damage, and choose 8 gems to destroy. The snap scoop power slam, 1 MP black move, deal 236.3k damage, and convert all trap gems into crossbreak gems. And the gorilla press slam, 6 MP black move, deal 120.4k damage, and increase your green MP by 8. Now, what we'll be using is wood so that we start with our blacks. We're going to be using a mat so that our multiplier is going to be plus two. We're going to be using a rock so that our multiplier is going to be plus one and an extra 5%. Now, keep in mind, while this add plus three to the drip plate, which is going to make multiplier time 10. So we're going to be making multiply 10 uh, gems although they are gonna remain saying multiply seven on the board but their value is gonna be multiplied ten and now i'm putting also cesaro here which reduce the green move starting mp by three for the opponent uh, the reason for that is uh, since we don't have we'll be making a lot of multipliers but we don't really have much to actually use them uh, the basically breaking a gem is what we're going to be using to benefit from it and i don't think it's going to be enough to get a proper pin uh at six star if this was five star gold it would probably be more than enough but at six star it's probably not going to cut it so we're probably going to have to do a, at least a second shot and uh, this facing brock with a a submission that's ready turn one like i did on my previous video uh i'm going to be using cesaro so that his green move is not going to be ready so as far as the belt here i switched up and we got some fury two gems and here's the drip plate whenever you activate a black move make seven random gems into multiply of strength seven which in this case will be multiply ten all right, let's try that. I actually don't think it's going to be OP that much for him. And if you want for a lot of other characters, it's completely ridiculous. But All right. So, first move is going to put a bunch of multipliers. As you can see, a regular black does 35,000. A multiplier one does 365. So it is 10 times plus the 5% of a regular black. It just still says seven, but it's actually 10. Now we're gonna use another black move. I'm gonna put another seven of them. There you go. Now we're going to pick eight gems to destroy, which I'm actually only going to destroy one. We'll destroy this one. That refills my black move. You got to be careful, though, because as you saw, it moves that bar. If you get any kind of cascade, it's over. Well, your turn is over. So now we're going to use that again. It's going to lay another set of multipliers. 
and we're going to do that to give an us or green back and put another set of multipliers there you go now obviously black is our main damage because if you see like my green does 253 my black does 365 so you're going to want to grab one green because that guarantees you get your green even though if you get your black you're basic basically getting all your uh your uh, move ready for next turn i'm gonna grab this one because those are gonna collapse other than that i'm gonna go for green i'm gonna grab those three here because that way this one's gonna collapse and we're gonna get two here let's get this 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 i can get one more we'll grab a green here there you go three million he got out of it like it was nothing. There you go. So we're going to be using this to put more multipliers. Let's put more multipliers. There you go. Let's destroy one black. You do have a little bit of a cushion not being that close but you still don't want to get any of those cascades there you go we're gonna do that two more times unfortunately we don't have that many blacks that I have a multiplier on Oh, well, now we do. <laughs> All right. Let's get those. That way those three blacks are going to collapse. We'll get this one. We'll get those two. Uh, let's get a black here. Can get one more. I guess we'll get this one. Let's see how much that's gonna do. Four point three. This one might do it. All right. Well, it does work better than I thought it would. It's not as OP as uh, other characters that you use the drip plate on. Like definitely. Unless you're swimming in drip plates, which <laughs> it's even hard to get one, really. Uh, you're probably going to have someone better to put the drip plate on. I guess it's an option. Uh, not something I'd go for on this guy. Let's try something else. All right, last move set we're going to have a look at for Goldberg. It's going to be the Pump Handle Fall Away Slam. 8 MP Ren move, deal 153.5k damage and make 10 protect gem into red gem the pin bar will not move the spear 7 mp red move deal 128.8k damage and choose seven gems to make into black gems and the jackhammer 10 mp black move finisher deal 630k damage and choose a 5x2 area to make into protect gem of strain 160.2k our trainers we're going to use butch so that we start with more reds we're going to use Acro Aska so that our Black Finisher does 150% more damage. Shovel Lita so that our Black Finisher does another 50% more damage. And since this is 6 star and they kick out of pretty much anything, and even a big finisher with a ton, like 1.6 million of Protect Gem, is not going to keep him down whatsoever. Well, Goldberg will have a submission ready on his very first turn, so we got to take care of his green and swear I'm putting Cesaro here, which will reduce his green MP by three. Otherwise, I would probably either boost a little more the black move damage or even put someone like Earthquake and boosting the strength of my Protect Gem. Although I don't care that much what their strain is going to be because... Like I said, he's going to kick out of it anyway. And uh, after he kicks out, I'm going to be using my Pump Handle Fall Away Slam, which will 
convert them into red, thus removing them from the equation. They're not even going to stick there. So don't care that much about the strength of those. I would add five star gold, for example, because at five star gold, they will stay down, not at six star. So as far as the uh, metals here, I put in uh, the metals I normally use on my Triple H, which are all uh, takedown metals. Uh, I do have two takedown twos and two regular takedowns. Uh, tier five black metal right here. I do put the Foley mask here, although it is not required by any stretch. It's not going to be a factor here. All right, let's try that Goldberg versus Goldberg. Right, so we'll start by getting our black MP. That should take about two matches, I would guess. Yeah. Now we're gonna make our five by two area of 160. So that's gonna make 1.6 mil of uh, protect gem. Pretty much matches everywhere. Let's put it here. Trying not to overwrite my protect gem even and uh, my uh, power gem, even though they're not that big of a factor, really. That was a 3.4 pin, as you see. Oh shit, he did not kick out out of it. I actually expected he would. Alright, we're gonna try that again, because that might be a fluke. I was fully expecting him to kick out of this. <laughs> now, if there was like feud buffs and stuff like that, he would do a lot more damage. We're gonna try that again. Oh, that almost backfired. Alright, do this. He got a cascade and got out of it right away. He didn't do much to me. Now we're going to be converting those into red gems. And uh, obviously, like it says, the pin bar will not move, so it will remain my turn, even though those are all going to be gone. There we go. Now we're going to be getting our black. Now I need nine. Perfect. We're gonna do another set of protect gems. I'm gonna override those two here because at least there's only one gem here that's a possible match right off the bat. Now this one's gonna be harder to get out of because it's a big pin with a big protect gem. And right, this one's thick. So yeah, no. There's a very good chance that your second one's going to stick. As we saw, there's apparently a chance that your first one is going to stick too, but I would expect it is much more often going to be the second one than the first one. Well, that's it for Goldberg. Uh, not an incredibly OP character. Definitely good. I mean, he did pretty good on all the specs I did. Uh, not really something that's going to make me fall out of my chair, though. Uh, but yeah, that's it for Goldberg. Thanks for watching. If you're not already a sub, make sure to do so to be kept aware when I post new stuff. Have any questions, ask them. And if you like the video, leave a like and share. See you guys. Gia. Ciao.